What's up guys, my name's Brandon and the iPhone 12 Pro Max is the biggest iPhone that Apple has ever made, but it's also the best, most feature packed iPhone they've ever made. And in this video, I wanted to go over more than 25 features, tips, tricks, and just things you need to know about the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now, the first thing you're gonna notice after getting the iPhone 12 Pro Max in hand and actually using it is just how massive it is. I mean, there's no way around it. It is a massive phone. We have the 6.7 inch OLED display. And again, it's the biggest that Apple has ever made. So I would recommend using reachability, especially for things like the control center, because most people, you know are gonna have to use two hands right here and use your left hand or your right hand if you're left-handed to pull down the control center from the top right but with reachability if you just simply swipe down where the home bar is right there that will invoke reachability and then you can go ahead and activate control center using just one hand so this is extremely beneficial and very helpful I don't use this feature on any other phone I never really felt obligated to use it I never felt like I needed to use it but with the iPhone 12 Pro Max it's so big that reachability is definitely one of those features I'm gonna be taking advantage of a lot now, if you do not have this enabled, you can enable it by going into your settings, accessibility, and then down to touch, and then you will see reachability right there. It's the second option, and I would definitely recommend having that enabled and also using it for easy access to your control center and also for your notification center. Now, another thing to know about the iPhone 12 Pro Max is that we have a bigger image sensor on the back. So the camera array is massive, but that's because we have a 47% larger sensor than even on the 12 Pro. So that lets more light in and leads to much better pictures, especially in low light. So you should definitely go out and test your 12 Pro Max in low light situations. Of course, it will perform great in any situation, but it's going to especially shine even over something like the 12 Pro when it comes to low light situations. Now, another exclusive feature to the iPhone 12 Pro Max this year is sensor shift image stabilization. So this means that the camera's sensor actually moves inside of the camera to offset any movement. And this makes for even more stable photos and videos, which is huge because the iPhones, you know, any iPhone for the past couple of years has already been excellent at OIS or just, you know, stabilization. But with the 12 Pro Max specifically, it's going to be just that much better because we have sensor shift image stabilization now. And this is the first iPhone to ever get this feature. And you know, this is usually a feature that you find in high end, like mirrorless cameras. This is not usually found in a smartphone. And I would definitely go ahead and take advantage of that as well. And just know that that is a feature in the 12 Pro Max this year. Now, speaking of great video, you can also shoot Dolby Vision HDR video on the iPhone 12 Pro Max and up to 4K 60 FPS. So if you go into our settings here and then go all the way down to the camera and then to record video, you will see the option there for HDR video. And you can see it says record up to 60 FPS video and 10 bit high dynamic range, including Dolby Vision. So that is definitely something you want to enable and just mess around with. Of course, not every display is HDR. So if you try to view an HDR video on a non HDR display, it will look very blown out. So you can go ahead and, you know, turn this on and off depending on the situation. But of course you can do this in 4k 30 or 4k 60 as well. Now, one thing you'll want to keep in mind is the file sizes for these videos. So you can see a breakdown of all of this right here. So if you shoot in 4k 30, you know, one minute of video is going to take up almost 200 100 megabytes of storage. However, iOS is smart enough to know that when you enable HDR, iOS auto changes to the high efficiency codec. So if we go back here and go to formats, you will see that it has changed to high efficiency instead of most compatible, which will also help with reducing storage, you know, the amount of storage that these videos take up. Now we also get things like Smart HDR3 with the iPhone 12 Pro Max, which is new this year for all iPhone 12s. We also get night mode portraits, night mode time lapses, and a lot of extra features here as well. So the video camera and the just photos, the still pictures are going to look excellent on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And I know I'm talking a lot about the cameras, but that's because the camera on the iPhone 12 Pro Max is going to be the biggest difference from the regular iPhone 12 Pro. So I have to mention the improved telephoto lens this year on the 12 Pro Max. So that is now a 65 millimeter equivalent with 2.5X optical zoom. And the regular Pro has a 52 millimeter equivalent telelens with a 2X 
optical zoom. And that 0.5x there makes a noticeable difference on the telephoto lens. So you're going to get much better performance on the Pro Max versus the regular 12 Pro. Now you're also gonna get 5X optical zoom versus 4X on the Pro. You're gonna get 12X digital zoom versus 10X on the Pro, and also digital video zoom up to 7X versus 6X on the regular 12 Pro. Now another thing to know about the iPhone 12 Pro Max is that we do not get iPad OS gestures. Unfortunately, that would be nice for such a big display, but you still need to know how to navigate through iOS with all of the gestures. And this is going to mainly apply to those who came from an iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 8 Plus, or just a device without a home button. So of course you have the control center up in the top right, notification center down from the middle. Of course, to get to your app switcher, you just pull up and hold right there. To close out of applications, you just swipe up on the application there. You can go quickly in and out of applications by just simply swiping on the bottom bar, the home bar on the bottom right there to quickly go in between these applications. To turn off the phone, you do volume up, volume down, and then hold the side button. So volume up, volume down, hold the side button. That is new as well if you did not come from, you know, a Face ID device before. So if you came from like a 7 Plus or an 8 Plus, that will be new as well. And I have a full guide on all of the gestures you need to know as well. So just learn these. And again, it mainly applies to those coming from older devices. If you want to see that full video of all the gestures, I will leave that linked down in the description below. Now, the next tip for the iPhone 12 Pro Max is to try out BackTap. So if we go into our settings here, this is a brand new feature in iOS 14, and I found that it works exceptionally well on the 12 Pro Max specifically. And I think it's just because of how big the device is. But if we go to our settings here and then go to accessibility and then down to touch, then all the way down to the bottom, you will see back tap down there. And I would recommend doing triple tap instead of just a double tap. That way you do not accidentally you know, enable this. So if we go to triple tap right here, you have all these different things you can do by simply tapping your finger three times on the back of the phone. And this does also work with a case on. I did test it out. So control center would be one of those things I would recommend having for back tap because even with reachability, you know, being able to do it, it could be even easier if you just use back tap. So that way, if we go to the home screen and we triple tap the back of our phone, you can see it pulls down the control center, triple tap again, and it makes it go away. So back tap is going to be one of those features that I think is going to be especially useful on the Pro Max versus any other phone just because of how big the device is. Now, the next tip is a way to keep a clean home screen. So you guys will never see me with many pages on my device, and that's because I like a clean you know home screen i don't like 20 pages of applications because i think it's just you know it doesn't look good and it takes a while to get to those applications and it just overall looks you know clunky so a way to make your home screen cleaner is by adding applications to the app library instead of onto the home screen by default so what i mean is if you go into the app store and you download an application usually you know by default it will show up on your home screen but maybe you have something maybe you download something you don't necessarily think you're going to use a lot and you don't want it to be on your home screen well if you go into your settings right here and then go down to home screen you should change newly downloaded apps to app library only and that way when you download a new application it will just show up here in the app library and if you want it to show up on your home screen you can tap and hold and then you can add it to you know your home screen if you want to now if you already have a lot of pages on your springboard and you want to hide them you can now do that in iOS 14 on your iPhone 12 Pro Max if you just tap and hold anywhere on the screen to go into jiggle mode right here you will see that the bubble right here the bubble around the page dots at the bottom looks like it's clickable and that's because it is so if you go ahead and tap on that you can see you get this interface right here where you can hide full pages so if I don't want my first or second page I could just go ahead and uncheck that tap on done go back out of this and you can see I do not have a second page anymore and if I want to get it back if I want to go you know re-enable that page go again just like so check it done and there we go we have that page back so that is another little tip for hiding pages on the springboard now another thing I would recommend doing on the iPhone 12 Pro Max is to take advantage of the widgets on such a big screen so the widgets I'm not usually a big fan of widgets on iOS 14 on any other device but I found myself loving widgets on the 12 Pro Max just simply because of how big it is. You can see a lot more content and I would definitely recommend going ahead and adding some widgets. So if you tap and hold, click on the plus up in the top left right here, you have all these different widgets to choose from. So I think something like even news would look good up there because of how big the screen is, even something like this and just add it up there. I don't know, it just looks a lot better in my opinion on the 12 Pro Max than any other phone. It doesn't seem as 
bunch together and as tight as it does on other phones. So go ahead and check out these widgets. I really like the look of them. Now, another tip for the iPhone 12 Pro Max is to shoot raw when necessary. So this is a new feature starting with iOS 14.3. And the reason I'm using my iPhone 12 Pro here is because this is running the iOS 14.3 beta and the 12 Pro Max is not at the moment. But when 14.3 comes out, you will have access to Apple's new Pro Raw format. So if you go to your settings, go to camera, formats, you will see Apple Pro Raw right there. And if you're already into photography, you already know what shooting raw means. But essentially, if you shoot a photo in the raw format, that means you will be able to manipulate it and just edit it a lot more than you could a regular like JPEG file. So if you go into the camera here, you will see a little raw icon up in the top right. And to enable it, just simply tap so that it's not you know crossed out right there. And then you shoot in raw and you can edit it here with by clicking on edit and you will also see that it's raw by seeing in the top right it says raw right there if you go to edit you will be able to edit you know the highlights the contrast all that as well and you can also transfer this over to your computer to manipulate it and edit it in photoshop if you want to so that is a great feature to try out on the iphone 12 pro max especially because of the improved camera system even compared to the 12 pro now speaking of the camera thanks to ios 14 we're able to change the resolution and the frame rate straight from the camera application so if you go up top right here and tap on 4k you can see you could change it between 1080 and 4k right there you can also switch between 30 60 and 24 fps without having to go back into settings so that was a feature we've been waiting on for a while and you can take advantage of that now here on the iphone 12 pro max using ios 14. now another great feature of the iphone 12 pro and pro max is that we have six gigabytes of ram so this is the first iphone ever with this much ram and if we go into geekbench fiber right here you can get confirmation of six gigabytes there so it's insane how long applications stay open in the background with this much ram because apple already you know optimizes ios so well that they don't need a lot of ram to keep applications open in the background but with the 12 pro max specifically even over the 12 pro even though they both have six gigs i found that applications just stay open so much longer in the background especially with games like call of duty and PUBG. so it's insane definitely go ahead and try that out you know obviously you will over time but just know that we have six gigs of ram here on the 12 pro max and that is awesome now also on the iphone 12 pro max we have 5g support so you can see the antenna band here on the right corner of the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And if we go into our settings here and then go up to cellular and then to cellular data options, voice and data, you will see you have these 5G settings right here. So you can turn 5G on all the time, 5G auto, or you can just turn 5G off by going to LTE. So just know that using 5G and trying to connect to 5G, you know, towers will use up some battery life. So I would recommend either doing LTE or 5G audio, but if you really want the full experience, of course you could turn 5G on. Also with data mode, you do have options here for standard low data mode or allow more data on 5G. And a cool feature about having allow more data on 5G is that you're gonna be able to download software updates over the air on LTE or on 5G, I should say, instead of using Wi-Fi. Now, another great feature on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, and this is also thanks to iOS 14, is a new incoming call UI. So you can also swipe this up to mute it and not ignore it. So let me show you what I mean. So if I go ahead and call myself right here, you will see what I mean. So you can see I have this call coming in and it doesn't take up the full screen anymore, but also instead of just having it going on up there, I can also swipe up to mute the phone call and you can see it's still ringing based on the icon in the top left corner but that's it you don't have to ignore it and if you go ahead and tap on this or if you go ahead and tap on that you can see it does pull it up in full screen we could also go ahead and swipe away to have it still just show up right there so that is great especially on the 12 pro max with its big display you don't want that taking up the whole screen so that is something to take advantage of now another thing to know about the iphone 12 pro max is that we have a magnetic array in the back of the phone so inside of the phone we have a circular magnetic array which allows us to use accessories like the magsafe charger which is new from apple so this is magnetic and you can see there it attaches to the iPhone and it's in there pretty sturdy. I actually found that it's more sturdy and it sticks harder to the 12 Pro Max 
versus any other phone that I've tested it on. So that is good news as well if you have a 12 Pro Max specifically, and this is great. And you know, we have the MagSafe charger, but we also have, you know, accessories, new accessories like the MagSafe wallet. So you can attach like a wallet attachment to the back of your phone as well. And just a lot of new accessories. This opens up a whole new business of accessories for the iPhone. So just know that you have those magnets back there and you can take advantage of MagSafe charger and MagSafe accessories. Now, one of the biggest concerns that you have with really any phone, but especially the iPhone 12 Pro Max this year, is going to be dropping it. I think it's gonna be a little bit easier to drop than previous phones just simply because of how big it is and how heavy it is. So it's a good thing that Apple just introduced the ceramic shield this year, which will lead to four times better drop resistance. So the 12 Pro Max will be more resistant to drops than in previous years, but I would still highly recommend getting a screen protector for the front glass right here. You can find those on Amazon and from other places as well. Now, going back to the camera on the iPhone 12 Pro Max real quick, I did also want to point out that we have the LiDAR scanner in there. So these are the first iPhones with the LiDAR scanner, the 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max. And this is going to improve the focus in videos you know it's going to improve the speed of the focus and also the overall accuracy and i found that it's even better on the 12 pro max than it is on the 12 pro for whatever reason so this is going to be great for that it's also going to be great for ar applications just ar in general like the measure application and just anything to do with augmented reality is going to be far better now that we have the lidar sensor on the 12 Pro and Pro Max. So thanks to reachability and also the triple tap on the back tap to pull down the control center as you saw me set up earlier, control center toggles are going to be one thing you definitely want to set up and configure on the 12 Pro Max. So you can see these are the toggles down here. And then also if you do not have any HomeKit enabled devices, you can go ahead and completely remove this section right here. So to do that, just go into settings and then go down to control center. I also wanna show you guys a new toggle in iOS 14.2 as well. So again, if you don't have HomeKit devices, you can go ahead and deselect show home controls. That way those are gone and you have a much cleaner look here in the control center. And if you want to change the toggles, just simply click on the plus right there. And you can also remove them as well by clicking on the little red minus right there and deleting them. So you can see here, you have all of these different options. You can also move them around. And the new one in iOS 14.2, is going to be music recognition. So this uses Shazam. If you go ahead and swipe down, you can see that is it right there. If you simply tap on that, it will listen for music. And it, if it hears a song, it will pull up the Shazam icon. It will pull up, you know, a little notification right here to shazam.com. If you tap on that, you can go ahead and see what song was playing. You can add it to Apple music, Spotify, and things like that. So definitely go ahead and configure these. And once again, you can have that set up using back tap with just a triple tap to pull it down, or you can use reachability to easily get to the control center using one hand. Now, one of those toggles you may have seen in the control center is sleep mode right here. And sleep mode is definitely something you want to set up on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. It's not exclusive to the 12 Pro Max, but it is something you want to go ahead and enable on this device. So to do this, you want to go ahead and set a sleep goal. You can do this in the health application as well, but if you haven't set it up, you will see something like this right here and you can set your sleep goal. So if you only need like seven hours of sleep, you could do that and you could schedule your days, you know, for when you want to go to bed and when you want to wake up, you could change it throughout the week. You have your wake up alarm down here. You could do all of these things with this application here with this new feature, I should say, called sleep mode. And it is very, very useful. And you can also have the wind down feature right here as well. If you guys want to see in-depth coverage of this feature and exactly how it works, I will leave that link down in the description below. It was in my iOS 14, my big video on that. But go ahead and set that up. It is definitely useful here on your iPhone 12 Pro or Pro Max, whatever iPhone 12 you have. So yeah, I am covering a lot of iOS 14 features here as well, but these are just things you need to know about the iPhone 12 Pro Max if you are new to the 12 Pro Max, and especially if you are new to like iOS as well. So the next thing I wanna talk about is setting applications to not use your exact location. So if you go to your settings right here and then down to privacy, and then to location services. And then I don't have a lot of applications set up here using location, but if you have something like Instagram or Twitter or anything that has your location, you could set it to not use your exact location. So if I go to something like weather, obviously I want this to use my precise location, but if you have an application in there that you don't want to use a precise location, you can go ahead and disable this. And you can see there it says, allows apps to use your specific location. When you turn it off, apps can only determine your approximate location. So I would recommend turning precise location off for applications that do not need to know your exact location, like obviously maps and weather, and maybe your camera needs to know your exact location, but maybe like Twitter and applications like that don't need to know your exact location. So that's something you want to go ahead 
and configure. And the final thing you guys should do, and kind of just something you should know on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, is going to be changing default applications. This, once again, is related to iOS 14, but you can change your default apps. If you go down to Safari right here, you could change your search engine, but you can also change the default applications for things like your web browsers and things like that. So you can see here, I have Google Chrome. If we simply tap on that, you could change default browser from Safari to Chrome. So that's cool that you could do that. You could also do it for your email clients. So if you have like Spark or a separate email client set up, you could set that as your default by going into these settings down here and changing the default application. So anyways, guys, there you have it. Those are 25 features, tips, tricks, and kind of just things to know about the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, I would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up. Also, let me know down in the comment below what your favorite feature of the iPhone 12 Pro Max is or you know what color you got. Just let me know something down there in those comments. You guys know I love replying to you down there. And of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below if you have not done so already. Already, I will be doing a lot more coverage on the 12 Pro Max and all of the other new Apple products. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.